Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do my Pisces for all love for the month of February, okay? Let's do my Pisces for all love, my little fishies. My little fishies. I'm feeling complicated again. I just felt that with my Saggies too. Not, not too much, but... You're in a sticky situation, apparently, for some, okay? So, Pisces, raw love, February. Queen of Earth. This is a very grounding, nurturing energy. Very persistent energy. Knows exactly what they want, where they're going. Very solid. Messenger of Earth. So, it looks like this Queen of Earth, which, so my Pisces, you're coming in as the Queen of Earth right now, okay? It's your energy, and you're delivering some type of message. And it looks, whether you're male or not, it looks like you're coming in as feminine energy, which is, which is great because it looks like in order to deliver this type of message, you need that type of grounding. It's grounding energy. Yeah, see, grounding, balancing out the scales, six of pens, evening out something. It's it's that balance. It's it's grounding a certain situation. Look at this like goldish tint, very grounded, earthy colors. That's fabulous. Right now, you guys are, are super grounded. Look at that, Ace of Earth, wholly grounded. Okay, that's a new opportunity. So it looks like you're about to go to somebody. It looks like you're about to go ground a situation and have a new start and you're about to give somebody your time, your effort. Pisces, Pisces. February, voila. Two of you. All right, so you're procrastinating on whether or not to send this message. Ooh, we got some procrastinators here. We got some procrastinators. To me, it's very watery, even though it's air, okay? Um, you're, you're obviously using your, your brain, okay? But she uses her soul, man or female. You're still solid, but you're procrastinating. But you want it, so there's a little fear here. But you have the inner knowing, the high priestess. It's that watery energy I was feeling. It's that intuitive, okay? <clears throat> but you're still procrastinating. And to me, I just needed to clear my throat. Try getting some cr black cryonite, okay? Um, it works with the throat chakra. But this is your karma, but you're fully aware of this, okay? This is not a secret to me. You might have to expose something, <clears throat> but this is karma with justice here, too, with the six of water. This has to do with your past, okay? You're definitely thinking about your past, but again, <clears throat> that's your procrastinating. Maybe maybe you don't know what to say. Maybe there is a secret. I don't ever look at the high priestess as being secretive unless there's something next to it, but um, so it just depends on your situation, Chip, but... <clears throat> To me, communication is a thing, and it needs to be addressed. <sighs> Tell me about the high priestess. <clears throat> it's two of cups. So it's, it's love-related, and this means there's mutual feelings on the board. Okay? But you're procrastinating. But it's it's so crazy to me because where's where's your faith? Take a leap of faith. Communication is key here because my throat is I'm starting to sound funny, guys. Like go buy some black cryonite <clears throat> or lapis. <clears throat> Holy crap. <clears throat> because you want to ground something here. <sighs> Tell me about justice. <clears throat> You're taking my voice away. It's the nine of cups. So it's it's like you got to put your heart and soul into this. It, it can be a wish. It can be fulfillment. It looks like a reconciliation. Healing definitely needs to take place too. Um, 
<clears throat> but with the chariot here, it's, it's moving forward with the ace of wands. Okay, so <clears throat> damn, you need to communicate how you feel to somebody and you don't know how to do it. That's that emotion. I don't know how you're so grounded. Your subconscious must be playing tricks on you. <clears throat> Not in a bad way, but like, how do I want to explain that? Some of you are going to take that the wrong way. <clears throat> You're not being played tricks with. This is a, a true connection, okay? But meaning like you're tricking your own brain by continuously sitting here because it's like you don't want to share your emotions. You don't want to talk about how you feel. And it's foolish because you have an opportunity to spend time with somebody, to give somebody your time, to ground a situation. And there's love and there's some type of reconciliation here. There's, there's some type of second chance. And you're so afraid of delivering that message. There's got to be fear. I don't see that much fear, but there's got to be because you're procrastinating. But there's so much love. So I'm telling you that's foolish. Take a leap of faith that your thoughts are what your soulmate anyway. You need to go in and ground this situation. Two of pence is right underneath. To me, you might even be dealing with the queen of earth. You might, this is your dream come true. This is, this is your energy of procrastination. You're the high priestess. You have the inner knowing. Somebody needs to go to the queen of earth. This is your true love. And you're procrastinating. I don't know if you think that this person might not give you time. With justice being here, I don't know if you think you effed up somewhere. But this is very unfortunate energy because to me, my Pisces need to go to this person because you got a lot of love for this person. You want a reconciliation, forgiveness. It's the two of cups, but you're, capra you're capra procrastinating, procrastinating because you don't know how to communicate with this person right now. Try black cryonite, okay, or lapis. Take it with you too when you have a conversation. Um, I'll clarify the two of air, but I don't really need to because it's clear as day. <clears throat> it's that communication that's necessary. So go for it, okay? There's some type of fear. There's some type of fear here. There needs to be an unveiling of something, okay? The emperor, yeah, take the lead. The emperor does not procrastinate. Take the lead. Go stabilize this situation. I don't see a fight. I think you you think there's a fight, but I don't see a fight. And again, the Ace of Pent, same thing right underneath it. Go. Go. It, it's, it's a leap of faith. To me, you're definitely trying to get this Queen of Earth's attention. So much love here. That's why I say it's very unfortunate because you have a chance to balance out the scales. You have the major and minor arcana adjust this. But you just don't want to communicate. That's what I think is unfortunate. So if you're the one that can, can communicate, geez Louise, take a leap of faith. And if it's the other way around, work on yourself. But to me, it, it, it's, it's clear as day. Um... Please, please, please. Look at Queen of Wands right here. Queen of Pence right here too. This is who you need to go after. Climb the ladder. Do it. Whatever's holding you back right now is petty. It's, it's straight up penny. Petty. This is your life partner with the Queen of Pence. And you're stalling. But you know there's a contract there. You know she carries love. You know you've been holding on to her. You know you need to apologize. You know you left her out in the cold. Follow your damn destiny. It's time. The wheel is here. It is time. Step up as the king of wands and take action. They take action. They don't sit around. Stop contemplating in your head whether or not this will work out because that's what you're doing. Your procrastination is holding you back. Ten of Pence, you must have did something. There's some guilt here. 
but you know this person. You love this person. If you don't step in, that tower is going to step in. Don't lose somebody you love. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. <clears throat>